freshman class special. And which hell we gonna break down the actual freshman class. And you know, not long ago, man, if you go back and look at the old videos that I did, it was the Drunken Love Remix video that I made. I made a prediction of who was going to make the list, and I was right on a bunch of these people, man. I successfully called Rich Homie Kwan, Chance the Rapper, Isaiah Rashad, and John Connor, even though I thought John Connor was going to get snubbed, in which they almost did snub John Connor. Like, they put him in the people's vote, and the people had to come out and vote for him to fucking make it, in which he proved that he is the people's rapper. Now, he is officially the people's rapper because the people voted him into the freshman class. In which these were the obvious selections, man. But then let's talk about some of the selections that I missed. I missed the Ty Dollar Sign, and quite honestly, I should have seen that shit coming. Ty Dollar Sign is everywhere, and he's been doing his thing, really. Like, honestly, from what I've heard from him, there's a lot better out there, but you know. He's cool. Then you got Lil Doug and Lil Bibby, in which neither of these guys are really that talented to keep it 100. See, real shit, why these guys are selected is because they're from Chi-Town, and you know, the whole chi rack movement is real huge in hip-hop right now, and to not have multiple people from that movement listed in this list, it really wouldn't be true to what's happening in the game right now, so I can kind of understand, but honestly, both of them need work on their core skills. And then Troy Ave, who I mentioned in the part one video, Video, man, I'm happy that he fucking made it. I didn't see him coming right now, but I definitely watched him come up from the bottom to where he's at now. I'm very proud of that man. Kevin Gates made the list, man, in which I've been heavily critical of him up until now. And don't get it twisted, just because he made XXL list doesn't change my opinion of him. I mean, he is extremely popular, man, especially with all the hate mail that I get from his fans and such. He is another rapper that definitely needs work on his core basics. Still a solid selection, man. He's definitely going to make moves. John Benton. I probably should have seen that one coming too, man. John Benton is very polished and very skilled, man. I definitely like the album that he dropped not that long ago. I'm very happy for that pick. They got that one right too. Vic Mensa is a very questionable selection. Come on. He's just like Chance the Damn Rapper. And then August Alcina, which he's the first R&B singer to make the XXL freshman list, in which I went back and listened to some of his stuff, man, and he did some things that I kind of liked, like he made the R&B version of Project Chick's Juvenile song, in which that was pretty cool. I mean, it definitely showcased that he can sing. Overall, as I look at the list, I would say it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best list. They definitely did stick to the script and selected some very good people, man. John Connor is the best of this class. No doubt of it in my mind. John Benton would be number two. And then after that, there's a pretty big fucking drop off. Hopefully you guys seen part one on the Download Pass channel listing some people that's potentially going to come up and take the next year's slot, man. But overall, you know, they done pretty solid here. I don't see like a little twist, complete fuck up of a pick, you dig?